thing about how Goku secretly learned Super Saiyan 3 and Fusion on Yardrat, where he learned the instant transmission. Mm -hmm. ah! I am so sorry that anybody, let alone your community, sit, sat there and said that to you. I am, I am so sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a short. I want to play this short and then just read. And then I want to read the sheer levels of copium. Because, like, Dragon Ball fans don't read. I understand that. But I am genuinely concerned. Who could have beaten Cell even without more training in the time chamber? No, he couldn't. Goku flagrantly says he was giving it his all against Cell while Cell was clearly holding back. In fact, it's to the point that Gohan deliberately says, oh, they're just around and he's halfway right one person's around in itself which is crazy because i went on to like rewatch the shit pretty sure cell doubles down and says he was trolling but like as you can see some people here definitely have common sense just to show you all that this is not me gaslighting a couple of bad comments scroll a little bit some people have common sense and then some people just just know this guy said no it's wild how wrong you are i'm just kidding <laughs> There's a couple ways Goku could have defeated Cell. First being Goku shooting Cell's lower half with another key blast. Second way is probably more ideal, which would be entering the time chamber with Vegeta and Gohan entering with Trunks. Huh? Goku could have gone Super Saiyan 2, where the creators were trying to make Gohan his successor, but then they also chickened out. Yo, what is this head cannon? Goku isn't even going all out unless he hits you with a spirit bomb. All right. So... Oh. I'm glad I kept scrolling so you niggas don't think I'm crazy. Super Saiyan 2 Goku put Super Saiyan Gohan in a body bag. So like I was saying, chat, there's a thousand of them. It's going to be hard for me to locate and nitpick the specific ones that I'm talking about. But I got notifications on this short left and right. Dog. These niggas are caping for Goku in the Cell Saga at full power, defeating Cell. And I don't like this shoot the legs thing going on either. But hopefully this video tackles why Goku cannot beat perfect cell here's goku the sane hero of the earth i give up giving up his fight against cell no don't give up now we'll say this moment right here y'all talk about underrated moments this is not underrated but this gets downplayed in, in like the 2020s and shit now it's goku randomly giving up like it, like in hindsight you could kind of see the swerve that gohan would be the guy to get it done because why the fuck was his main thing going into the time chamber training gohan right but like goku quitting a fight definitely see that shit coming <laughs> you've probably watched this scene so many times definitely see that you're coming. probably convinced that goku wanted gohan to beat cell instead of himself how could Goku risk everyone's life and his son's too? Why didn't Goku train more when he had the chance? Why did Goku put the fate of the whole world in his son's hands unnecessarily? Why was Goku not taking the Earth situation more seriously? Why hadn't Goku thought of a plan C and D? You're probably still angry that Goku aided the enemy with a senzu bean and yep. then his plan with Gohan easily broke down. You thought that Goku could beat Perfect Cell. <laughs> Thank but what you. if I told you that you were wrong? You would be literally the entire f***ing story. I'm not even hating on the intro. I'm just saying that's my issue with this conversation. It's not that, what if I told- No, everyone told these niggas. The Goku told you, Gohan told you, Cell told you, fucking Toriyama told you. Everyone has told you this, and you niggas just said, nope, Goku wins. My goodness. And a nigga in chat mentioned the Kaioken? Shit you not. Editor, you don't have to look for it. Do your Googles, YouTube. Help, help me get some views, chat. A nigga typed. I mean, if he used Super Saiyan Kaioken, he wins. So what are you talking about? The truth is, most of us have been influenced by Goku's carefree attitude. Goku's thinking and tactics on the battlefield are strange at times. Because he's the hero, he often gets his own way. When Goku gave up the fight with Cell, it was the first time that Goku exited when he wasn't beaten to the point of near death. Everyone, I mean everyone, was shocked and shaken, including us. Nah, that shit was what? crazy. No way, Goku never gives up. Saiyans simply do not give up. 
is not part of their warrior DNA. Type Goku shit. wanted Gohan to take the wheel and to see if he could release his potential and get the and job And that's done. why he was holding back like all that Goku's power. this was Goku's true plan all along. But this was a wild risk and many called him out at the time. However, this all occurred because of a crucial realization that Goku had when they left the time chamber. He knew he was not as strong as Perfect Cell. And Thank you. You God for pointing out that this nigga Goku walks out of the fucking time chamber, talks to Corrin, goes see Cell, and by two more verifications, is just like, yeah, nah, I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, this is not gonna happen. Like, <sighs> and that he couldn't close the gap in power. This was almost a full ten days before the Cell game started. We know that Super Saiyan 2 was required to defeat Cell, and subsequently, it took Goku up to seven years of training to achieve that. I wouldn't so say all that. He probably been had that. Chamber, Goku continued to remark that he lacked Now that, I don't know. This is head canon -y of me. I don't know if it's all seven for Super Saiyan 2. That I find very hard to believe, considering he has fucking Super Saiyan 3. But yeah, no. Nah, yeah, Goku definitely didn't have fucking two in the tuck, like some people said. My God. Power to defeat Cell. When the Z-Warriors questioned him, they were baffled why he was so sure of his own looming defeat. Goku then sought guidance from his former mentor, Korin. Like people just forget this scene existed. In a rare moment of vulnerability, Goku accepted the truth that he wasn't as strong as his opponent and was strangely calm. <laughs> yeah, I figured he was more powerful. <laughs> Goku Jesus. then was relaxing for 10 days with his family because he knew any further training would not help him beat Cell. Goku could have used the time chamber for another day, but this would have been useless as we now know he would have needed up to seven years of training to unlock Super Okay, Saiyan he two. verified Goku that. Goku and Gohan have been- Yeah, I, yeah. A lot of people have the idea that Goku just does it and hey, my glorious king is glorious king. If he goes back in there, he, shit, he, he's, he's my glorious king. He might, he might have that bitch in a year. But if it's two years is the kind of what we're getting at in this video. We don't know. We don't know how much training it took Goku to get Super Saiyan 2. That, that's something that's literally just up in the air. ...to near death in their training. And Goku had witnessed that shit could take superior potential. A, a year, 368 days, and now we're fucked. Can't be sell, GG's. As the Cell game started, Goku vs Cell was the first official fight. Even as they started, Goku knew he would be easily defeated if he made any mistakes. Even prior to this, Gohan knew he was stronger than his father as a Super Saiyan. The proof? Well, it was when Goku was powering up at Korin's tower. It's okay. clear that Gohan was shocked how his father was weaker than he expected. Back to the Cell fight. Once the warm up was over, both Man. Cell and Goku powered up further. Gohan watched intensely as his father fought and was shocked that his full power wasn't higher. Man, it's like, I know many of you guys are probably thinking this nigga's just retelling the Cell saga, but like, I don't know what else he or myself could do. It's just so many times in the saga where they flagrantly tell you, yeah, Goku ain't gonna beat this nigga. And you niggas just refuse like, like it's just holy shit like all of this evidence versus your literal opinion like oh my god then cell powered up to a level higher than goku and goku realized there was no way to win he'd known that for a while now and cell was still holding back a huge amount of his true power basically which he was forced to use against super saiyan 2 gohan the best Goku was able to do was vaporize the upper half of Cell's body. Okay, here we go. This was an incredible. Here we go. This is the part where they say, oh, he wins here, GG's, or whatever. I have my own personal take about this and why I think that this is stupid as well. Furthermore, it's definitely disingenuous, but let's go. Incredible feat. However, on most opponents, this incredible attack would have meant instant victory for Goku. But Cell's regenerative abilities, as we know from Piccolo's DNA, meant Cell quickly recovered from damage and continued the battle. At the closing stage of their fight, Cell used the force field to cancel Goku's destructive key blasts. 
And then Master Roshi was the next person to realize that Goku couldn't win. Goku then announced that after fighting Cell himself and being unable to win, that Gohan could beat Cell. He had joy in saying this to his son because... I know what you mean, but in their head it's because they lit they didn't literally say it. Goku literally says it. What are you talking about? Dad, <laughs> Everyone says eight. that he can't so beat the nigga. The thing. Goku talked like he wasn't giving his all, but he actually was. In manga chapter 209, Goku said to everyone that he was fighting at 100%. Yeah, he says it right here. So Goku was the plan A, and Gohan was plan B. The truth is, Gohan was stronger than his father Goku due to oh, his really? potential. Here's three points of evidence. Firstly... <laughs> this is like... Dragon Ball for babies ass video, bro. And it's not again. It's not disrespect to him. It's just like God damn. Did you read the story? Goku revealed to Cell it's, it's, that there it's, it's would like, be holy a stronger shit, fighter it's just right here. than Goku, who would fight after him. Secondly, when Gohan powered up, I know what we're gonna do shocked, after this video, showing that Gohan was actually. You know what? I'm not even gonna waste my time here. I guarantee you, I can click through this video. It talks about how. Um, Gohan's the only one that could do it, yup. Yeah, we talked about how Gohan's the only one that could do it. Yeah, we don't even need to see this elementary shit. Honestly, and that's no diss to the creator, because it's just so fucking stupid. So you know what? Let's go to the inverse. Why Goku could beat Cell. How Goku could have beaten Cell. Why Goku couldn't defeat Cell. Oh, oh God, I'm terrified. How Goku could have beat Cell. Let's do it. Today I'll be talking about Goku and Cell. Let's do it. It'll be a hypothetical of Goku at Super Saiyan 2 when fighting in the Cell game. Think of Goku, Goku and Cell. It would be a hypothetical of Goku at Super Saiyan 2 when fighting in the Cell game. Stink. Yo. The first video we fuck. The first video we fucking find. The nigga goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about Super Saiyan 2, dog. <laughs> Are shorts comments just this dumb? If I can't find a video on YouTube of a nigga doing it, yo, shorts comments just might be this fucking dumb. What if Goku went Super Saiyan? Yo, nobody even fathoms that this nigga is stronger. Okay, here we go. Goku couldn't beat Cell. Goku could, could Goku have beaten Cell? Oh, no, no, that's the question. Could Goten and Trunks? Uh, oh my god. Fuck it. Let's just go to another video that debunks more theories. Because that guy pretty much just explained what Dragon Ball, what happened in Dragon Ball. Maybe this guy breaks down the arguments you guys have. In the Dragon Ball franchise, our main character of Son Goku has encountered many threats and foes who have driven him. What in the Avenger shit? Okay, Cell is Thanos makes sense. But what is. <laughs> to the very brink, improving him as a warrior and oh, as a Thanos. martial oh, artist. I don't know. However, there was one. One threat that in many ways stands above all others as a foe that Goku simply could not defeat and allowed his son instead Type to take shit. his place and defeat this villain for him. His name is Cell. Could Goku have defeated Cell in Dragon Ball Z? And Josh from Dragon Ball Nation, Goku is your favorite character, is he not? Uh, is Cell my favorite villain as well? Yeah, as well as mine. I feel like maybe it is a little bit more cut and dry than some people make it out to be. And I think maybe a lot of misconceptions do lend to the idea that perhaps Goku really could have beaten Cell at any moment. You know, the whole Please thing talk about, about how that. Goku secretly learned Super Saiyan 3 and Fusion on Yardrat where he learned the instant transmission. Mm -hmm. But, um, <laughs> what? what the f What? the fuck brain rot did I just hear? No, 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 no. Run that back. What brain rot did I... Yo, is... You, I thought TSO was dumb. What the fuck are y'all telling this nigga? Hold on. Everybody shut the fuck up. So at any moment, you know, the whole thing about how Goku secretly learned Super Saiyan 3 and Fusion on Yardrat where he learned the instant transmission. Mm -hmm. But, um... <laughs> You niggas just talk. You niggas just talk. You Dragon Ball niggas just talk. No, I've seen it. You you niggas just talk. Laughing st I'm liking your video. Cause I cause I know they're gonna think you made that up. I know they're gonna think you made that up. I, I am so sorry that 
anybody, let alone your community, sit, sat there and said that to you. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's a story for another day. However, we're going to break this down by different points that Goku could have possibly defeated Cell and what methods he could have used. And Josh, let's first start off with your overall thoughts on whether or not you think Goku really would come out victorious. And then we'll start off with the first point. Well, when you look at it two different ways, whether he could have done it by following the rules or by his pure strength by completely eliminating Cell, which obviously by the end of the fight with Cell when Gohan was fighting him and Cell had self-destructed, we know that Cell's regeneration was far surpassed what we had anticipated it to be, um, even when obviously Goku did the instant transmission Kamameha. I just can't see any way that Goku, even if he was close to strength with Cell, I don't know if he really could have completely annihilated him, but even so... Goku's far weaker than Cell and some people. Nah, just give just give Goku unlimited chakra, and then have him instant transmission Kamehameha the torso, and then that has no strain on his body whatsoever, no recoil, no nothing. He just blindly eviscerates the bottom half as well. Cell doesn't regenerate fast enough in time. Goku just has unlimited key chakra. Just have you ever played Kakarot? God, y'all. Absolutely. And before we get into the whole power thing, let's first start off with the idea of Goku versus Cell continuing in the ring, continuing within the confines of the rules. Oh, Goku because could beat him in a martial arts fight, right, sure. Goku and Cell's fight, Cell blasted the ring, eliminating it, and essentially said the planet would be their ring. And it became more of a fight to the death at that point. Now, Josh, do you think that there's any possibility that Goku could have somehow eliminated Cell, say, through a ring out or through? Through any other means if they stayed within the rules, ring out absolutely it's goku it would be more of a uh, one-sided fight for cell it's really interesting to think about it because if he had just kept going the same speed like if cell was just doing the same power output that whole time it would have been a closer fight in the sense that goku would have had more opportunities to ring out cell with things like instant transmission but even then what we're getting into now is semantics as fuck and that's kind of my mild spoiler on how i feel about this we're not going to stop this video by the way um, I'm just, I'm just like the, the whole thing's kind of a semantics argument. As you can see, chat's trolling with what kind of power ups the nigga would need. This is kind of what I'm getting at. The idea that like y'all are saying Goku could have beat Cell. The worst part about the take is it's dishonest as fuck because you guys are like implying subconsciously that he's clearly not stronger than Cell and he's just going to get a slick el elimination of Cell. Like when you guys bring up the instant transmission, just do it at the core or whatever the fuck you're talking about. Guys literally are like dishonestly admitting, yeah, if they were to just throw hands, he's never going to beat this nigga. So you're for trying to find your roundabout ways to beat Cell, which at that point, why not have Vegeta final flash the core, right? Vegeta could beat Vegeta could beat Cell. And such, maybe caught him off guard with a solar flare, which is something Cell obviously has as well they both have good techniques but the one advantage goku really had was ah uh, yes but destructo disc goku instant transmission out, solar sure flare Dard probably got up way more and obviously then he does obviously go on to destroy the ring but i feel like maybe cell was underestimating goku before then in terms of his tactics i suppose i should say but i don't know if i feel like he could have gotten cell knocked out of the ring and even if he did in reality if cell had him blow up the ring he probably would just said screw this it's not the same rules anymore and yeah. the plan Still yeah, yeah, Cell would have told you, fuck off, deal with it. Die unless you can defeat me. <laughs> I feel like Cell so would have said, fuck the rules, let's really box. He's not going home. For a ring out either, when you think about it. Like, both of them really wanted to go as hard as they possibly could. Or at least, you know, in Cell's case, he wanted to see how much Goku could go and how much of a challenge he really could be. Because, you know, again, as we'll get into, there really was a big difference in their powers. And the only way I could see Goku, say, defeating Cell within the confines of the rules would be through a ring out, as you said. And the only way I could see that happening happening is maybe he does something like he did to Pycon in their fight where he takes advantage of Cell being caught off guard or using a move yeah, and then uses the instant happen. transmission, the ring teleports next to him and then blasts him out of the ring with a Kamehameha or if he blasts off the top part of Cell's body well if his legs fall out that's probably still a ring out so ultimately I feel like ring the rules it just wouldn't are matter. still going to be disregarded like you said though so getting into the rules being disregarded what do you think there like do you think 
Goku with all of his various techniques? Do you think with all of his various strategies and just his overall willpower? All right, yeah, let, let, let's, for, let's see how they think some so way somehow. Cell, or do you this think is what I want to hear. I want to hear how Goku somehow kills Cell. This is what I want to hear. This is what I'm looking for on YouTube. How does Goku somehow kill Cell? I need some YouTuber man to come up with a theory was kind of doomed to begin with if i want to stick to canon here and not you know talk about filler things like super cow ken which i don't even think goku would have been able to even do right then plus all the damaging stuff to his body but goku's power like let's say gohan wasn't even an option right let's say gohan couldn't even go super saiyan 2 or super saiyan let's just say that that's off the table right yeah goku has to be the one to beat cell no one else even has a chance they die. to be quite frank goku doesn't even have a chance unless he can do the spirit bomb in my opinion and there's no way cell's gonna let him do a spirit bomb there's just no way in hell goku's power thank you i mean if goku just stands there and he screams, give me your energy. Cell just is stuck fighting Vegeta and, and Tien with the key coho. Kind of like how it pushed back semi-perfect Cell. Then if he charges the spirit bomb in time, then Goku would win. It's dumb is so below cells that i think a lot of people don't. might not understand i know a lot of people do understand that but there are still those that don't quite fathom the amount of power difference it's basically nigga would, I nigga would like one shot the entire z fighters like and then just going fight goku maybe 50 percent when he was fighting goku somewhere around there you know you can get into the when goku was comparing his power to Korin and asking what kind of chance he has against cell uh you can look at when cell fought gohan as a super saiyan 2 cell powered up a few times as well there and everyone was shocked and goku didn't even realize he had that much power hidden within him so you know it could even be a situation where cell was actually not even using 50 percent against goku you know uh yeah. goku was giving it his all despite on maybe how his dialogue might have been delivered or whatever or how you might perceive the way he said it when he talked her say he said it <laughs> oh, oh my god it's like they know they're talking idiots he he said he gave his all verbatim verbatim he said i was giving it everything i had well, how do you perceive that differently you go on and said i went all out i'm pretty sure he meant it so i just don't see a way where goku could really put out enough force to completely eliminate cell maybe if everyone jumped in against regular perfect cell <laughs> but it they die if you're talking about just Goku, uh, I just don't see it being feasible, really. There's too much of a power difference, and the regeneration makes it completely unfair. Yeah, the whole thing is that a lot of people oh. took that conversation that Gohan had with Goku, because Gohan essentially thought that Goku was holding back the entire time during his fight with Cell, because Gohan was comparing his own power that he knew he had to Goku's, and of course he assumed, well, he's Goku, he's my father, he must be more powerful than I am. However, chat trolling but i seen a question it's not you it's the topic that pissed me off but someone in my chat is curious could vegeta beat cell after the goku fight without a sense of you know what my new hot take is chat cell is the most underrated character in terms of his power just let me just remind you what cell fresh out of a transformation hey i'm just warming up for fun here guys did to vegeta you know what i'm saying Vegeta get, just shoots him, point blank. Cell just tanks it head on, doesn't even try to dodge. Leaves Cell like this, then he started laughing and he grew the arm back instantaneously. So yeah, gang, I hate to be this guy. I don't give a fuck if 50% of Cell was tired. Let's say all 50 was tired. Let's say Goku w wiped out half of Cell's energy. Cell is laughably one-shotting Vegeta. However, Gohan had more power as a Super Saiyan than Goku did as a Super Saiyan, which is why he thought that there was a difference when in fact it just meant Gohan was stronger. Let alone he and just I guess dodged he didn't the final flash. Up until that point. But aside from that, you know, there is always the thing of the Sensu beam, you know, when it came to more of the climax of their fight, you know, where Goku and Cell were both out of breath, where it seemed like both had kind of been worn down, you know, because the Kamehameha against Cell, all the energy it needed for him to 
to come back that Cell suggested to Goku that he take a Sensu Bean so that they can continue their match. Do you think even after Goku took the Sensu Bean, he would have stood any real chance against Fuck Cell? no! I mean, Cell must have said it because Cell knew he still, even if Goku was at his max, still would have been fine. Yeah, Cell was out of breath as well, but again, it comes down to a part where he obviously hadn't unleashed all of his power yet. Um, whether that would have rejuvenated his strength, who knows? You know, it could have been a little bit of bad writing too, just a bit there. Cell proceeds to box full power Gohan. But if Cell's offering him, he doesn't want Sensu Bean, right? He wants Goku to take one only. So that tells me that Cell's confident that he will still beat Goku. Maybe that's overconfidence. Maybe it's not. It's hard to say. But that is a very good point, Mike. Well, one of the things they say in the anime, at least Trunks says, is that after they give Goku the Sensu Bean, all of them can jump in and basically team up to defeat Cell. Do you think that... Trunks is an idiot. This is, this is grade three guy. Even though Cell was worn down against Goku a little bit, ah. do you think that, you know, his power would still be too much for everyone? Right, it's one of those things where I'm not sure if he actually went all out, if it would have, like, rejuvenated him to a point where he wouldn't be as exhausted or whatever, you know? I mean, just based off the writing, he makes it seem like he really can go way farther than that at that point in time. I mean, again, like it's later on, when so we see him power up against Gohan, people are shocked. Even Goku, who had fought him, is shocked that he had that much power reserved, you know? He knew he was holding Holding back power but he didn't know he was holding back that much so even if the others that are around him you know think they can beat him uh, in reality i just don't think that'd be possible yeah there's pretty much three ways i could see goku potentially being able to we can use our head cannon. oh yes please please this is the part okay they're about to cope we're about to put on copium mass chat. They are literally about to troll. They are announcing they're trolling and they're announcing they're about to use copium. Here we go. Ways I could Let's see snort. Goku potentially being able to. We can use our head cannon and think of the yeah. perfect scenarios like Goku <laughs> blast him. Like after Goku ends the transmission, Kamehameha him. He's on the ground. Everyone dives in and does a big blast. That would work, but. See the shit I'm talking about. <laughs> see, see, the shit, see the shit I'm talking about? Like, and what, and what does that mean? <laughs> Vegeta, you focus on the right leg. Yeah. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Who would write that, right? Who would write oh, that exactly. situation? But there's like three techniques, essentially, I could see maybe oh, being able God. to beat Cell. The first one would be the Super Kaioken that he used against Pycon and Filler, which if. I'm not dissing the creator. I'm just literally, I'm, I am literally here for the copium that it takes to say Goku beat Cell and Super Kaioken is point one. I'm here for it. I, I'm here for this shit, bro. If it's only like a two times boost. This isn't a diss to him. He's him being disingenuous. He's literally playing devil's advocate. Somewhere near him. Unless he doesn't drain his stamina quick. Yeah, and considering oh that God. Kaioken damages your body, he would I feel like that probably wouldn't have been the best method to defeat Cell with it. The other one would be the Spirit Bomb, as you mentioned. Yeah, However, the Cell's thing just gonna is that a lot of people that. forget is Cell actually either knows or knows about both of these techniques. He even says so when he's confronted by Piccolo and the other Z fighters early on as Imperfect Cell. He says he has all of their techniques and he knows how to use the Kaioken and potentially even the Spirit Bomb. On. Now, whether or not he could use it is something else. I believe you did a video on that, did you not? I did a video on that. Yep. There's I games where he did. does it. And, you know, that's a whole different discussion, but Cell would know the entire time Goku's trying to use that move, so I think that's pretty unlikely he'd be able to. And the final one, kind of out of left field, would have to be the evil containment wave for the mob. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh shit. What, what am I thinking, chat? They just seal cell. Oh, oh, gee, that's what it was. Damn, I, God, Sage, what am I thinking? They just fucking seal him. Who would have thought? Oh, oh yeah, how, how does Goku beat cell? They just seal the nigga. Dang, this is a dumbass take with a dumbass premise and headcanon in its entirety. 
Please don't let these niggas rock, bro. Holy shit. Afuba. But again, nobody except for oh Master Roshi and Piccolo knew that, and it's unlikely that Piccolo is going to step in and use that move. Plus, Piccolo and be actually enough. knew a evil containment wave reversal attack back in Dragon Ball, and Cell does have the cells from Piccolo, so it's possible if even if they use that so move, all three Cell would don't be work. like, oh, cool. reverse evil containment wave and seal them up just, you know, the same. So I feel like even in those ridiculous scenarios, it seems like <laughs> Cell would still come out well, on top in this Even, case. Mike, if you if we're going to let Goku use Super Kyle Ken against Cell, I'm going to play Devil's Advocate and say, listen, it'd be hype as hell if Cell's just like, you're going to do that, I'm going to use Kyle Ken as well. <laughs> he should be able to use it, so I mean, it, it shouldn't be a problem for him, and he's Jesus not, like, Christ. transformed or anything, so he wouldn't be using as much stamina. Yeah, and the whole thing is, if Goku doesn't completely eradicate that cluster of cells in, in Cell's head, which, you know, was retconned to be there after his fight, he's not going to be able to beat him. It makes a cooler villain, I think, with that. Yeah. I That'd, mean, have, I been guess That'd have been cool. That'd funny. I'm all for I'm all for slandering stupid head cannon, but if Goku tried to use Super Kaioken and then Cell was like, hey, don't try that. I'll just do it too. That'd have been funny. That armor was so <laughs> strong, he literally created a uh, weakness out of nowhere for Cell. But ultimately, I feel like Goku going into this fight really knew he was not going to win. Like, that explains... Yeah, we don't need to even finish that any further. Uh, everyone knows that this shit is stupid. So at last, I'm going to do one final thing. I'm going to do one final thing, man. I'm going to Google, can Goku beat Cell in the Cell games? Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh god here we go goku could have beaten cell and he could have done it pre pretty easily we know that super saiyan goku is is around the same level as perfect cell And we also know that because of his training, Super Saiyan was like his base form in terms of strain. Therefore, Goku could have stacked... <laughs> we are making up fucking techniques. Oh my god. Which wouldn't have any more strain than in base in Kill Cell. Even if you want to say Cell was holding back, even... Remember, Goku can handle up to Kaioken times 20, which he could have used to finish Shell in one blow. And since Goku isn't going to let Cell get desperate because he's a better fighter, no super perfect Cell here. Of course, he didn't do this because he wanted to see if Gohan was really worthy, but it could have happened. This is what I need out of you niggas. The replies, please don't be stupid. It's explicitly state. Thank you. Okay. What the, what the we tried to let bro cook. <laughs> Looks like we ain't even in the night. <laughs> so is holding back. Goku is going all out. Goku said to Dragon Ball Super he that he would have died if he stacked them. Thank you. Goku killing Cell would lead to Super Perfect Cell whether he blows up or not. All this would do is get Goku killed. There's hope. I can't believe it. there's hope. There's some fans that have brains. Chat wants Chat GPT. They must have searched something. Y'all must have searched something stupid. Let's see. Chat GPT. If I need a login, I don't have it, so I'll deal with it. Oh, never mind. I can do it this way. Sorry. Can Goku during the Cell Saga beat Perfect Cell if he went full power? Oh, here we go. In the Dragon Ball series, particularly during the Cell Saga, Goku's strength and abilities are heavily tested against Perfect Cell. While Goku is incredibly powerful and he has mastered Super Saiyan, he ultimately chose to let his son Gohan take on the take on Cell, believing that Gohan has the potential to surpass him. If Goku had gone all full power against Cell, it's conceivable that he could have won the battle. Where? Where? You're just gonna tell me this? You're AI. You're literally Chat GPT. Just tell me. Give me the facts. However, Perfect Cell was designed to be one of the most formidable opponents, and he was able to achieve a level of power that made him a serious threat to. <laughs> this is already implying that fucking Goku's stronger than Gohan. Now it's implying that fucking Cell was the underdog. Holy shit. Goku's power at full strength, especially with techniques like instant transmission and his experience in combat, would give him the edge. However, it's important to know that Goku often holds... Yeah, that's it. That's about to be the last one. <sighs> chat! Chat, let's read! Gohan, 
when you were watching me fight Cell, did you think that he was str- too strong for you? I didn't think so, but neither of you were fighting all out, were you? I don't know about Cell, but I was fighting as hard as I could. Did it seem to you that I was holding back? Oh my god, it's it's it's, it's like holy shit. It, it, it's like holy shit. Ultimately, the narrative of the series was about Gohan stepping up and taking the lead, making Goku's choice to let Gohan fight a significant plot point. If Goku had fully unleashed his power, he might have defeated Perfect Cell, but it would change the dynamics of the story and Gohan's character development. Okay, but how would Goku beat Cell? I thought he said he was weaker. (laughs) Oh, oh, no, no, no. No! This is YouTube comments incarnate. Chad GPT just went full blown, full, full blown YouTube comment. Holy shit! No, please, no, please, no, please, no, please. All right, here we go. Goku did indeed state that he was weaker than Perfect Cell after reaching his Super Saiyan form. However, there are several factors to consider that. To, however, there are several factors to consider that could have enabled him to beat to beat Cell. So- What? What? Oh my god. Super Saiyan 2. While Goku fought Cell in his Super Saiyan form, he was aware that Gohan had the potential to reach Super Saiyan 2. If Goku, if Goku had trained harder and tapped into Super Saiyan 2, he might have been able to achieve. Yo, so this just, this just head cannon that Goku could do it. I'm not saying that Goku as a Super Saiyan 2 isn't stronger than Cell prior to Super Perfect Cell. But what I am saying is like, one, this idea that he just has this in the bag, like guaranteed thing that y'all have going on is so annoying. I'm not saying it took the entirety of the 17 years. I mean, 17, seven years. I'm not saying it took seven years to get Super Saiyan 2. That's very dishonest, very disingenuous. But the idea that y'all just know for a fact he gets to here is wild. One, two, the idea that like if somehow like like we just don't fathom that super se- that like super perfect cell happens anyway that's just an impossibility and we're just like oh yeah super saiyan 2 goku stomps he would be stronger but like the idea that we just don't fathom that possibly going on is so cr- it's just such a biased way to view this just oh yeah goku just gets this and then cell just you know doesn't resort to anything and ggs my god but yeah anyway y- y- you know goku just is able to go super saiyan to the whole time combat experience this is separate from super saiyan 2 this is a separate point combat experience goku has the vast combat experience and instinctive fighting ability if he had fought cell seriously if 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 kaioken goku could have used kaioken technique in combination with super saiyan next Instant transmission. He fucking used it. Point five. Goku had chosen to use the spirit bomb. He could have absorbed energy from living beings around him and unleashed a massive attack on Cell. This technique requires a lot of time to gather energy, but if he had enough time and allies to assist, he wouldn't. And Cell would know what... is known for his fighting spirit and determination in a dire situation he might have found himself find his resolve to push himself beyond his limits and tap into his youth and hit a reserves of power similar to what he did against Frieza <laughs> yo no 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 this might gotta be its own video at some point we might gotta do sage talk to chat gpt about dragon ball bro why do you keep saying that goku wasn't going all out against cell this nigga said you're correct 
When Goku claims he's weaker than Cell, it's more to understand that he is assessing the situation. He may have felt that he was at his maximum potential at that moment, but also recognized that Cell was likely stronger overall, especially since Cell had the access to abilities. Goku's statement about being weaker doesn't mean that he wasn't that that he wasn't putting a serious effort. Rather, it reflects his. <laughs> This nigga just is like, nah, gang. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> he, he's just lying. <laughs> this, 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 this nigga just, this, What do you do? <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> what do I say to that? <laughs> tell, tell me. <laughs> what do I say? After the battle, Goku is shown to be, be fatigued, which put, which indicates he put on a significant effort. He used a lot of energy to fight against Cell, demonstrating that he wasn't hold betting, was that he wasn't holding back as much as he could have if he thought he could win. What the fuck? Okay, you're correct that Cell was somewhat holding. <sighs> After absorbing Vegeta. Absorbing Vegeta, he was confident in his power and likely saw Goku as a challenge more than a serious threat. His smug demeanor and willingness to toy with Goku. Cell often enjoys playing blah blah blah. This nigga literally is like, he could have been going all out. Don't let Cell fool you. This is like Chat GPT putting on a fucking tinfoil hat, bro. Chat GPT would literally do this. <laughs> Chat GPT. Deadass went did these chat. Watch out. This is chat GPT. These niggas. You're not thinking, Sage. You're not thinking. Just because Cell is talking shit and toying with his a target, toying with his opponent, doesn't mean he was going all out. And just because Goku said that he was going all out doesn't mean he was going. Goku is pushing himself to his limits, but Cell, being the more po powerful fighter, may have had a level of con confidence and control to fight him strategically without fully unleashing his power. But you, you just... I'm getting trolled. In summary, you're right in pointing out Goku wasn't necessarily holding back in terms of effort, and he was indeed fatigued. However, the narrative context suggests that Goku felt he was ultimately outweighed, outmatched by Cell's overall power and regenerative abilities. Cell's willingness to toy with Goku and not go all out might have contributed to the complexity of the fight, making it seem like a close battle while Cell maintained a significant advantage. So after all of that, do you now agree that Cell going full power would defeat Goku? I think he would easily. We have learned chat GPT is YouTube comment sections incarnate. I don't believe any of you are real anymore. Take care. Stay blessed. All of that for nothing. All of that. <laughs> Wait a minute. You said Cell absorbed Vegeta. When did that happen? Did not absorb Vegeta. <laughs> That's it. Yep, I'm done. And they said, you're right. He actually didn't do that shit. <laughs>